Thanks for joining us today as we visit Toomba's Cope and Co Museum. To get there, we first make our way through Queen's Park, certainly a beautiful centerpiece for Toowoomba. The late summer blooms look breathtaking, exceeded only by how the park looks each spring. Past the park, we arrive at the Cop and Co Farmers Market, which takes place every Saturday. It is always lively and popular with locals and visitors alike as these windmills watch over everything. The front entry was beautiful and architectural in design. Upon entering, the staff at the reception directed us to the newest display at the museum a collection of historical and unique tea towels that showcase Queensland's history and legacy. It was a nostalgic journey through time and culture as we explored their profound significance in Australia, particularly in the vibrant state of Queensland. Tea towels originating in 18th century England were initially used to dry delicate tea sets. In Australia, their purpose expanded beyond mere functionality. Tea towels have become emblematic of the region's diverse culture and unique heritage. Moreover, Queensland's tea towers have played an integral role in community events and celebrations. Local artists and artisans often collaborated to create limited edition designs that commemorate festivals, historical milestones and moments, turning these everyday items into cherished mementos. Beyond their aesthetic appeal, tea towers have become a means of storytelling. Through intricate patterns and designs, they capture the essence of Queensland's history, from the early days of European settlement to the bustling metropolises and coastal paradises that define the state today. So, the next time you reach for a tea tower, take a moment to appreciate the artistry, history and cultural significance woven into its fibres. This one had the recipe for pumpkin scones belonging to Flo Bialki Peterson, late wife of Queensland's longest serving premier, Press pause if you want to copy the recipe. For those of us old enough to remember, this special tea tower commemorated Brisbane's 1988 World Expo. My husband remembers visiting the expo during his first year in Australia as a student. Sharp eye viewers will not, however, it is showing the 1989 calendar. Older, Jackie Ryan provides one explanation. Basically, a bit of Australian larrikinism. Maybe it was just a typo. I was thrilled to step back in time and watch a blacksmith workshop at the museum. For a moment, I was able to immerse myself in the sights and the sounds of a bygone era. Artisans like these were the backbone of early Australia. You can explore the significance of the blacksmith's craft and feel the excitement of witnessing their work. Previous generations of blacksmiths forged the foundations of Australia's growth to becoming a rich and successful nation. Before we go further, it is essential to acknowledge and pay our respects to the traditional custodians of the land we stand on, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. We recognise and honour their deep connection to country which spans tens of thousands of years. The stories told through Dreamtime legends and the intricate arts are a testament to their enduring presence 
and rich heritage. From the vast deserts to the lush rainforest, the Torres Strait Islands to mainland, their legacy is imprinted in every corner of this diverse and ancient land. The contributions of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders people, their enduring spirit, strength and wisdom have shaped this nation in ways that cannot be measured but should always be acknowledged. As we reflect on the past, let us stand together in recognition, respect and gratitude for the traditional owners the original stewards of this extraordinary country. I always have fun at the science display section. There are several great machines that show different phenomena. This wave machine was composed of a cylinder with two fluids of different viscosity. This machine blows a column of air that traps a beach ball in place, almost like it was held by invisible strings. I also enjoy this arc generator. This would make a great home decoration, maybe not. My favourite display is this whirlpool generator. I think it's just very cool. Once the pump starts, it takes a few seconds for a whirlpool to form. A curious mind is a wonderful thing. We were soon very hungry and stopped for lunch at the museum cafe. We end up ordering the plowman's lunch, seafood basket and steak sandwich. Everything was reasonably priced and very delicious. We recommend the cafe to everyone. I was excited to finally stand next to this life-size statue of Behold the Megalania, a prehistoric titan that ruled Australia with unmatched might. Megalania makes today's Komodo dragons look small. This life-size statue showcases the wonder of this awe-inspiring creature. From its fearsome jaws to the intricate scales, the meticulous details make it so lifelike. I felt the echoes of a bygone era captivating my senses and wouldn't want to be chased by one. Amidst the vast exhibits of the Cobb and Co Museum, a significant portion stands as a testament to the preservation of a rich history 
the history of wagons that once traversed the landscapes of 19th century Australia. As you meander through this expansive showcase, a journey unfolds, immersing you in the very essence of an era where horse-drawn carriages were not just modes of transportation, but expressions of societal advancement. This curated correction serves as a time portal to towns and cities of yesteryear, pulsating with growth and evolution, where the promise of modernity was eagerly embraced. These unassuming vehicles were the backbone of a society forging its path through the vast landscapes of progress, leaving an indelible mark on the narrative of Australian development. These wagons, more than mere relics, stand as silent witnesses to Australia's remarkable growth. They carry not only goods and people but the dreams of pioneers, the sustenance of families and the very essence of a nation on the rise. The buggies and goat carts, with their unpretentious designs, embody the indispensable roles that they play in the daily lives of farmers, traders and families. Among the array of artifacts, the night cuts emerge as a humble custodians of cleanliness in budgeting urban centres. They unveil a time when the modernity we take for granted today was yet to be established. The cluttering wheels and diligent horses of these cuts were the frontline defenders against contagion and disease. In times of crisis, the first eight cuts emerge as unsung heroes, racing through the streets to tend to the injured and unwell. Their presence on the historical stage speaks volumes about the resilience and adaptability ingrained in the Australian spirit. The creaking wheels and rhythmic hoofbeats echoing across the vast landscapes of a continent in profound transformation compose a symphony of progress, a melody that resonates through time. As you explore this extraordinary collection within the Cobb and Co Museum, Remember that each wagon narrates a unique story. The museum extends a warm invitation, urging you to journey back in time and immerse yourself in the living history represented by these wagons, a mere testament to the indomitable spirits of a nation that transformed challenges into opportunities, leaving an enduring legacy etched in the very wheels and wooden frames of these remarkable vehicles. One of the more poignant exhibits was this horse-drawn wagon from World War I. The conflict that many felt defined Australia's early nationhood. Amidst the echoes of war, the Australian light horsemen emerged as a beacon of bravery. Yet, beyond the riders, there were silent heroes, 
the unsung equine companions that pulled the weight of the war effort. Imagine the resilience of these noble creatures as they tirelessly haul wagons laden with supplies through the harsh terrains. Together, they form an unbreakable bond, an unwavering force in the face of adversity. As you walk through this exhibit, immerse yourself in the recreated scenes, the troopers in slouch hats, the horses in noble stands, and the wagons bearing the burdens of war. I believe this exhibit honors the legacy of our Anzacs. Discover the spirit of Australia's past at the Cobb Co Museum in Toowoomba. Plan your visit today and journey through time with us. Bye!